Hello, Damon, Mercia Solutions. Today we're going to take a look at five graphical user interfaces. These are very similar to Windows Explorer that enable you to browse buckets or containers um, within a S3 storage service. So you'll notice below, there's chapters below, so you'd feel free to jump ahead um, if the particular GUI is not of interest to you. And then we can jump on and look at the next one. And we'll also go through and review the websites, where did they obtain the GUIs from, and provide as much information as we can as we go along. So, first thing, Amazon S3. It's actually a standard. Um, it stands for a Simple Storage Service. And as you can see here, it was uh, launched over 16 years ago. So it's very much a stable product, um, or it's very much a industry standard. For the purpose of today, I've got two S3 object stores, one running MinIO and the other um, Point Archival Gateway. And full disclosure, we are a partner for Point and we can provide and support the Archival Gateway storage system, which turns a tape library into a fully compliant S3 storage system. If you're interested in this, I'll leave a link here to a demonstration of the system. So let's jump into it. I've got a Windows 11 machine with the five graphical interfaces. We'll take a look at them. So first uh, graphical interface we've got here is a program called Dragon Disk. Now Dragon Disk is actually a freeware piece of software, but it hasn't actually been updated in nearly 10 years. So on the left here, we've got the actual computer. So it's like C drive. And on the right here, we can choose our storage service. So I've got MinIO and I've also got PAG. So if I was to click here, you can see I'm accessing Nest Free Buckets. And in here, I can actually browse through various folders. You can see we can uh, do our properties then on an object, see various security details, metadata, and the full URL. Within Dragon Disk, we've actually got account management. So we can have multiple accounts. If we take a look at some of these, uh, we can see we can set the various security permissions and connect from there. So next uh, application we take a look at is Cross FTP. And again, we can see very much we've got the GUI here. On one side, we've got the local machine and on the right, we've got the bucket. So again, we can browse through, we can look at various uh, files and we can open up various uh, properties. Moving on then, next one we've got is Cloudberry. And Cloudberry is probably one of the more popular applications. You can see we've got this connected to a PAG system. Here I can browse through into various buckets. And from here I can actually read various files, view the properties, security. Even further on, we've got a package called Cyberduck. And again, this is connected to the PAG system. And again, we can uh, view the files. We can uh, click Get Info, and from here we can view various permissions, metadata. And last but not least, we've got uh, S3 Browser, and again, browsing here, we can view the various objects. And again, we can view properties on files. And here we can view various details. And quite simply, we can uh, get the headers, various tags, properties. So let's uh, switch over to the desktop and we'll take a quick look at the various uh, packages websites um, so you can see where to obtain them from and can find further details. So the first website for Dragon Disk is www.s3-client.com and from here we can download Dragon Disk. And we can see Dragon Disk is actually cross-platform and it can run on Windows, Mac and Linux. However, as I said, this hasn't been updated in nearly 10 years. The next uh, website is crossftp.com and on here you can see we've got a list of the various features. Uh, Cross FTP is also an FTP client, exports many services including Azure, Google Cloud as well as the Amazon S3. And again the Cross FTP also runs on Windows, Mac and Linux. Cloudberry, this can be obtained from msp360.com forward slash explorer and you can see it's a free download um, but comes with a pro 15 day trial and that can be upgraded to the pro license for 60 dollars 
Again, this is Windows and Mac. And further details can be found here on the actual full features. So the next one we have is CyberDuck, which is cyberduck.il. And again, we can see this is cross-platform, both Microsoft and Mac. And again, this supports a variety of servers, FTP, Amazon, Google, etc. And lastly, we have S3 Browser, and this is s3browser.com. And on here, you can see we've got all of the details. And this is highly focused to just S3 storage. As we can see, S3 Browser is only Microsoft based now. So, hope you found this uh, interesting. We've also got a link here, which I'll leave to the full pack system, where we give demonstration of actually uh, writing to tape at incredible speeds. And also some other videos here on the Amazon CLI and using S3 metadata from the command line interface.